This is the grade 8 math practice test for TN Ready. This is question number 13 on this version. In the spinner shown, the probability of spinning red is 1 out of 2, which makes sense because it, the R takes up half of the little circle here. And the probability of spinning either blue or yellow is 1 fourth. So you have 1 fourth there, and 1 fourth there, and 1 half there. The spinner will be spun twice. When you have, this means multiple events, because a spinner, it does not matter what you land on on a spinner. You can land on it again. Um, if you've played any game where you have it, you've, where you use a spinner, you've probably landed on something twice, or you've seen somebody land on something twice. They're not related. Not that it would matter much in this conversation, but you start fresh. If I land on blue, I can land on blue twice. So um, anytime you have something that occurs multiple times, Generally speaking, you're going to multiply. So I need to find the probability of the first thing occurring and multiply um, by the second thing occurring. Because again, two events are happening. Spinning, stop, spin. That's two things happening, not just one thing happening with lots of different things, uh, lots of different variables involved. What is the probability that result of the first spin will be red and the second spin will be blue? So this first spin being red is one half. They told us that specifically. The second spin will be blue. Multiple events indicates multiply one fourth. So you do one times one is one, two times four is eight, and you get a final answer for this question of B. The big issue for this question, I guess, is the fact that if you don't know that you have to multiply, you could miss it because you'll try to add them together, um, maybe. So this would be two fourths plus one fourth gives you three fourths. Or you could even try to get, I don't know what they did. They may have multiplied or something to get to there. Who knows? Three fourths is the answer for D. I realize it's off the screen now, but one of the answer choices is like that. So anyway, that's how that's going to go. If you have multiple events, multiply, and it should be fine.